Let's practice adding. Add the numbers 5 plus 15 plus 6. To add these numbers, I'm going to use the associative property, and then I'll explain why. The associative property states that the way you group the addends does not change the sum. And what I want to do is group 5 and 15. And the reason I want to do that is because these are friendly numbers. They add up to a number that's easy to get to. So let's do the regrouping. Let's group together 5 plus 15, and we'll find the sum there. And then we'll add 6. I'm going to do the addition over here. 5 plus 15 equals 20. So this grouping has a sum of 20. Now add the 6. 20 plus 6 equals 26, and there's your answer. Let's try another problem together. Paul, Smith, and John go to a movie. Paul spends $11 on popcorn for everyone, Smith spends $12 on nachos, and John spends $9 on drinks. How much do they spend in all? So let's write the numbers. So we see that Paul spends 11 Smith spends 12, and John spends 9, and we want to know how many they spend in all, so we're going to add. So the numbers are 11 plus 12 plus 9. To solve this one, I'm going to use the commutative property. The commutative property of addition states that the order you add in does not change the sum. And the reason I want to use the commutative property is that I see I have some friendly numbers here. I have 11 and 9, and I know that they will add together to form 20, or a nice uh, even number to add with. So I am going to rearrange this addition sentence so I can get the 9 and the 11 close to each other. And the commutative property lets me do this because the order that I add in will not change the sum. Now I have 9 and 11, and I'm going to use the associative property again. And remember that the associative property says that you can group the addends in any way, and that won't affect the sum. So however you want to group them, you can do so, and you know that your answer won't be different. So let's group together the 9 and the 11. So 9 plus 11 in the group, and then we'll add 12. So let's do 9 plus 11 equals 20. So you know that the sum of this group here, 9 plus 11, is 20. And now add the extra 12. 20 plus 12 is 32. This means that the boys spent $32 in all when they went to the movies. Thanks for watching.